We have several million trees in the Houston area. Trees are very important in an urban area for many reasons. Shade for people and um, an ecosystem for birds and wildlife. For birds especially, they're important. We have thousands of migrating birds that come to Clear Lake and trees like these, they like to all roost together, sometimes two or three thousand together. Yes, we've had a survey of the trees and right now we're in the process of tagging all the trees. Um, each tree has a number. They have the number identifies where the tree is located and the species of the tree and the circumference of the tree. And we're hoping to um, save as many of the trees, especially on the edge, as we can. Exploration Green Project started really a few years ago uh, when the Clear Lake City Water Authority realized that uh, they needed to do some extra work uh, to develop some flood control uh, capability in this area. There's a lot of flooding in the past. We want to bring back nature to this area. You know, going back to the early 60s, this was prairie at one point, it was pasture land, but then it was turned into a golf course, which is not exactly nature. Uh, and so we've gotten some, pulled together a lot of help from volunteers, and we have some experts that really know how to, to rebuild a, a natural area, bringing in nat uh, native trees, and native shrubs, and native flowers, all kinds of different ways you can rebuild an area to turn it back into a much more, much more natural area. experience and just with landscaping is that you have to really have three different tiers to attract the mammals and the birds and the habitat for butterflies and if you just have one of them that doesn't work quite as well as attracting you really need the top tier of the bigger trees the live oaks the pines and then you need a medium a shrubby uh, section and then you need the lower growth you need all three of those to really have a good ecosystem within an area and this is a really good example of a good ecosystem so even within this little area that does look kind of nondescript, there's still a lot going on in here. And so hopefully we can save this and increase this in this area so we can have migrating birds that come here and feel safe, animals that can come here and feel safe, and people that can come here and feel safe. So it all works together in one big system. Uh, that's going to be a big job, and we need people to help. So anybody seeing this video, <laughs> we need volunteers. This is all volunteers.